Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Afika binti Dawud, and I will explain to you guys about my part, which is login. So as you guys can see here, this is the login from the PHP my admin. I create login with the five column, which is ID, username, email, password. And the last one is the turn date. As you can see, they have user tables inside the database with the different columns inside of it. For the next step is I open to the new browser and type localhost eamslogin.php so the page will be appear like this. So this is the login form that I have designed. So I use this form to connect to the SQL database. For the login, they have the username and the password. Uh, we also can enter the name and the password. If we cannot login this page, we also can click to the not register yet and can register at that place. I put the information in the registrations. When I go back inside to the PHP my admin, we can see that they have a new user in the database which name is Afika Zeti Anissa Hidayah Embariah. Here, you can see that the form is displayed as well. I write Afika and I enter the password which is Afika99 and I click login button. So, the page will appear like this. Welcome Afika. This is secure area. Then, I also put the button log out. When I click log out, it will be appear to the login page. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Anissa Binti Hisham and I will be explaining to you guys about my part which is attendance. So as you guys can see here, there are seven columns in this attendance table which is the first one is attendance ID, login date, login time, logout date, logout time, duration and over time. Employee needs to fill in the data that required in this table. So as you guys can see, the button insert up there at the top is where staff that handle this database can easily insert employee's information. Okay, after done insert all the information needed, they can simply click go button on the bottom. And there you go, all this information is done inserted. Well, same goes to our EAMS system. So as you guys can see, this is our attendance table. All the information are the same as in database. There are edit and delete button on the right side in every columns. So employee can edit their information or data if there are any mistakes happen when they insert their information. Just click on edit and all the information will appear. And they can easily click on delete button if the information duplicate or the whole columns is wrong. And the information in the columns will automatically gone and deleted. And they can simply insert back or insert new data on the insert new record button on bottom of the interface, which consists seven columns as I mentioned before. They need to insert their attendance ID, next is login date, login time, logout date, logout time, duration, and next is over time. Then just click on add record button and bottom side there. And there you go, the record successfully added. Once it's done, just click on the back to list button and all the information added will appear in the table as you can see on the screen. That's it for my part. 
and I will be passing to our next presenter to explain about other parts. Thank you. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Zeti Natasha Munsi and I will explain to you guys about my part which is employee. So as you guys can see here, uh, there are five columns which is employee ID, employee name, employee mobile telephone, employee email and also employee address. Okay, next I will show to you guys how to insert the employee information in this table. First, just click the insert button at the top and fill the employee information. So as employee ID 885233, Northern National Drina Binti Aiman for name and employee mobile telephone is 014789623455. And then our employee email such as nordanisha at gmail.com. And the last part is employee address. Okay, so after done insert all the employee information, we can click go button on the bottom. Okay, just click go button. And now you can see all the employee information is done inserted in this table. Okay, then if there are mistakes, you can simply just click the uh, edit button. And you can edit the information or the mistake that you make. For me, I want to edit Nordani Shana Drina Binti Aiman. And I just click edit. So, I edit the name in all caps lock. And I click go button. And there you go. Okay, um, next is same goes in the EAMS system. As you guys can see, this is the employee information table and all the inf information are same uh, like um, in the database. Also, there are edit and delete button at every column so they can edit or delete the information if there, there are any mistake. Just click the edit button and the information will appear. Also, they can click delete button if there are mistake about their information and the information will automatically gone. For example, um, I want to delete Nur Kalisha Hisham. Okay, so after I delete Nurkalisha, uh, the data, uh, the information about Nurkalisha is gone. Okay, also they can insert back uh, the information by click insert new record button and fill out all the information. And after that, just click add record and back to list. And the information will appear in the table C, Nurkalisha Mithisha. Okay, so that's all for my part. Uh, next, I will pass to the next presenter, which is uh, Siti Baria. Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Baria Binti Mountain, and I'm going to present my part, which is uh, leave information. In this leave information, there are several tables uh, provided, which is Leave ID, start date, end date, total day, and reason. Leave ID is a unique number for uh, leave information. And then start date is the start date of the leave requested. And it is the last day leave requested. And total day is a total day from the start date until end date. And the reason is the simply reason why the user is uh, request for the leave. And then we're going to insert the new data, which is well, first is uh, leave ID, start date, end date, so day, 
which is simply a total day from the start date until end date. And then uh, user can add, type any uh, reason for their leave requested. In case I'm going to type COVID-19 swab test. And then uh, just click go to add the new data. And then the new data already insert, added into the table. And then here is the new data we already uh, added. Uh, and then we're going to click for the EAMS. This is uh, my pages, which is leave information. And then uh, here is the table we already created. And then simply refresh the page for update the new data. And then uh, user can just click edit button to edit the data. And then just simply uh, click after the update and then just click update record. And then here is our new updated data. And then user also can delete their data. Just simply click the button delete to delete the data. And then here is uh, leaf ID 116 already deleted. And then user also can insert new record. You simply click the new record and then key in the new data they wanted, which is leaf ID, start date, end date, total date, and reason. And then just click button uh, record. And then record successfully added. And then uh, back to list. And then refresh the pages. And here is the new uh, data we already created earlier. And which is uh, if I did 116, here is all the data. And then that's all from me. I'm going to pass uh, to the next uh, presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Mahidah Bintak Grashik. Today I will present my part that is uh, leaf. Okay. Okay, you have to click the TVL leaf. Okay. Uh, and it shown the uh, information that is leaf ID. Uh, leaf type. And uh, reason. Okay. Uh, you also, also can edit, copy and delete the information or data you don't want to be here. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is how you key in the data. Okay. Just uh, uh, put the information information you want to uh, be in the uh, table. Okay. And then you can click go. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the information is at in, in your table. So this is a uh, uh, employee attendance management system. There, there is a uh, details. Okay. You can also click ed uh, edit if you want to edit the information okay you, you also can delete the information you don't want if you don't want the information there okay so this is uh, when you click insert a new record okay you can uh, save the leaf ID leaf type and your reason and then you have to Now you have to click the add record. Now, and then your record is successfully added. So you have and uh, you can uh, click the back to list. 
so your information is there that's it for you thank you